So here's another Templar's Chapel here in Bourne. You know, in, in just any French village, any French town you go, you find Templar stuff. And they are the general, they are no warrior monks, they're not warriors at all, they're backstabbers. So this is very old. Uh, Jacques de Molay, the, uh, the, uh, the last Grand Master of the Templars, he, got, um, he made his sermon here of uh, being a, uh, a Knights Templar, that's what it says, in 1265. And uh, this is very old, this is probably from the 11th century or something here. And uh, yeah, it's in a bad condition it seems. There's no tourists here. Tourists don't, they're not interesting, interested in it. Uh, an ancient Templar's chapel. I showed it on the map. So they are today's colonels and generals. You know, they do, uh, and we do the fighting for them. They don't fight. Of course they don't. They are no, you know, forget it about the, you know, the Templars. Uh, they were great guys and all that. Forget about it. Just forget about it. They were bastards. So Templars are just second, third, fourth sons, up to 20 from the aristocracy. They were as poor as a rat because it, everything went to the firstborn son, the primogenitor. Well, this is why we find two Templar guys on one horse. They're not... See, I hear this every time when I visit the Templars commandery. You remember that when I went to the uh, when they they almost smashed my head in, same thing. So this is Pharaoh's aristocracy. That's all. This is from a pyramid. It's a two-dimensional pyramid. So all of this here is the wall of the uh, the Templar's commandery here in Bonn. And uh, I really like to have us to have a look inside. You know what's going on here. So this is where the last Grand Master. Jacques de Molay, he became a Templar in here. And Bone is in Burgundy, very, very rich. And the Burgundy people, they come from Burgunderholm, which is called now Bornholm. It's an island between Sweden and Finland. It's very posh, hitchhiking doesn't work. It's, um, it's all about wine and money. I just talked to an Irish guy who works in a restaurant. The, the, uh, the Prince of uh, Monaco. He served the Prince of Monaco. Uh, uh. So one more time, the Templars Commandery. It's not very far from Troyes, where it all started. Um, where the last Grand Master who got burned in Paris, uh, where he became a Templar here yeah, in Bonn. Nobody is here. It's all, you know, no tourists. They, um, they go to the... <laughs> Yeah, well, I really like to go over the wall and have a look, eh? This is why they gather, you know, the Freemasons who come out of the Templars. It's Pharaoh's aristocracy, guys. Very old, a thousand years old. So these guys, they make the new uh, world order. They drop the old world order and the king. And uh, they rule the entire world now. These are the rulers, and they are pharaohs. They, um, they broke the old world order of the king, which was a vertical rule, and they made the horizontal rule of the, uh, the king and the, uh, of the, um, the cabinet and the congress and the senate, and they all rule together and have, all have a piece of the cake. So no more two poor aristocrats, second, third and fourth sons on one horse. They never were monks. So there is a place where I found this uh, Templar's uh, chapel in Bonn, which is next to Dijon, big town in Burgundy. And uh, actually they're doing the same thing as the uh, as the as the Muslims actually they say they say well we got a, um, a Christian chapel but actually it was a military position 
just as the Muslims they do with their with their, their mosques, which are all military positions where they organize, you know. It's a Templar style. And of course, this thing being done by the Muslims and their mosques, it's done by the caliphs and the emirs and the sultans, the same aristocracy as the Templars, right? Get it? It's always the same. You know, it's getting, getting boring. They always use the same system. So, that the, uh, the Templars thing, it was about, uh, I think about here somewhere, in Bone.